Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new transition tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create a glitch stripes transition in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after you create your composition, make sure your comp settings is set to 24 frames per second and duration to one second and around 10 frames and hit OK. And here I have this glitch sound. And I have this footage here that I'm going to use as a reference from Adobe Stock. You can basically use any footage or image you want. And here I have several compositions. And this basically is glitch blocks map that we're going to use. So here's the default looks. There's a noise and glitch stripes here. And there's a separate tutorial on how to create these glitch maps. So make sure to check the tutorial and you will find the link in the description below. And so in this tutorial, we're just going to use these maps. So Control Alt Y to create adjustment layer and let's rename this glitch. And we're going to add one of these glitch maps. So let's add glitch noise version one. And here we're going to Luma Invert Math this, and basically you are not going to see anything because this is is adjustment layer and not a solid. So let's explain to you what's the difference here. Basically here, uh, adjustment layer there's nothing applied. It's like empty, so uh, there's no pixels in it. So let's first correct these. Uh, by applying curve to this map. So we're going to get something like this. And you will see here, these glitches are just white, just like the solid here, the color of the solid. So if we put this back to adjustment layer, I'm not going to see anything. So what we're going to do is applying a minimax here and let's put these around 200 and you will see here we already get some nice blending glitches with this footage so this is what minimax is doing is just maximizing anything underneath it so it's maximize all these pixels based on the channel that you use and here the direction and there's a different operations here. So we're going back and Luma Enver Math this. So now we get this first setup. So now we're going to add a new adjustment layer, Control Alt Y. And let's rename this to Transform. And we're going to apply Transform effect to it. And here we're going to animate the position of this. So from uh, from this position and so the peak where there is of the sound let's multiply this by three and as you see uh, we need to add a motion tile here so let's put it right here and let's put there 500 and mirror edges and just when it get to almost one second we need to basically trim these glitch with the map and here we're going to add another keyframe here so we want these two back into place so we're going to multiply this by five so there you go so we are going to get something like this and we're going to easy ease this and give it a nice easy animation here so this is how it's going to look like for now and now we're going to add another adjustment layer control alt y and we're going to name this displacement and we're going to add a displacement map here and let's add this glitch block map right here and turn its visibility and just on this effect, 
we're going to assign this map to it and we're going to choose vertical because we want this animation of the transition to be vertically so we're going to choose here first luminance on vertical displacement and wrap pixel and stretch map to fit and you already see something happen so let's put this to maybe minus 50 and we're going to add a keyframe in the pick right there hit U and here we're going to put this to zero and around there one second back to zero it's easy is these keyframes and we're going to get something like this and here there's some few problems so we're going to add motion tile again and put it right here let's put height to 500 and mirror edges and there you go it's fixed and now we're going to add this glitch noise version 2 and going to use it as overlay here so maybe this we want it to start right there as this uh, displacement we don't want it to start right away so something like this and we're going to add another adjustment layer and let's rename this to glitch v2 and this time I'm going to use this block first one and did the same thing we're going to track mat these and add a minimax here and this time I'm going to animate this minimax so here let's choose direction to just vertical and we're going to put here maybe 100 for now and maybe we want this to start right here so let's put zero right there so zero to 100 and then at one second back to zero let's trim this and move the map as well so so we're going to get something like this and here we have some problems so we're going to add a curve to correct here these map and we're going to add a box blur to this repeat edges and maybe we're going to put this just vertical maybe so we're going to have something like this and now we're going to duplicate this control d so select these and control d and let's shift this and we're going to change this glitch block one to block two so hold alt and then release it right here so it's changed so as you see it's add some variations there we can also change here the glitch maybe add more so let's preview and see how this looks like So as it look pretty cool and so now we're going to add these glitch stripes here on top of all of these and we're going to put this to overlay so maybe this we want it to start early so let's preview and see how this looks like
So as you see, the transition looked pretty cool, and we're going to finish this by adding chromatic aberration to give it a very nice look. And I'm going to show you how to create it without any third-party plugins or using shift channel. So Control Alt Y to create any adjustment layer, and let's rename this. And we're going to add a tint effect, and let's map blacks to red and white to blue and we're going to add an emboss effect here and so here we have something very interesting happening here we have direction of the emboss and if we go so far we got a problem here so we're going to add a motion tile right there let's put it above everything and let's mirror the edges there and we're going to animate animate this relief so here maybe we're going to put this to 10 let's add a keyframe there and start from zero and then and add zero right there and then we're going to change this to a hard light so basically we are going to get something like this. You see what's the chromatic aberration add. It's had a very nice cool effect and I'm going to show you how to apply this into a footage. So here I have two footage here. So let's find this here. So I have this transition and I'm going to put it right here and we're going to add a marker on where we had the pick and then we're going to place it right there. Basically, you will see something like this and you'll be like, oh, where is the thing there? So here you need to a collapse transformation this and there you got it and make sure to put this to guide layer because if it's not guide layer, it's, it's going to render the footage instead of the transition so make it as a guide layer or just delete it so let's preview this So this was the tutorial of today and don't forget to check the tutorial of creating uh, glitch maps because they are the key to create this transition. Uh, you will find the link in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media on Facebook and Instagram on Noble Creative and if you have any question just comment and I will do my best to be responsive and thank you for watching.